Now, the last time we saw these Florida Gators, they were the victim of one of the biggest BCS upsets in history, a 10-point Sugar Bowl loss to Louisville that made for a long, long offseason. Wasn't that good. <laughs> so we got to change something. So, I mean, we've been living off that the whole offseason. So, I mean, we got to change that. They have, like, this big poster of the score right before you walk in the locker room. So regardless of where you Every day we have to see it. Picking up the pieces, what are the Gators' biggest concerns? Ha, huh, how much time you got? Yeah, coach, lots of holes to fill. And as the Gators tackle the rest of the SEC, they're going to have to do it without a few defensive playmakers from a year ago. Gone, two first-round picks in Sharif Floyd and Matt Elam. How about mainstay kicker Caleb Sturgis, who seemed to be in Gainesville for 10 years? But the biggest hole may be on the offensive side of the ball. Jeff Driscoll has a young and unproven receiving core but help is on the way, and former Kentucky head coach and brand new Gator wide receivers coach, Joker Phillips. They've kind of answered the challenge that Coach Phillips brought. You know, they're, we were last in the SEC in passing, and that's, that's on myself, and that's also on the receivers and on the tight ends as well. But uh, they're tired of hearing that they're no good and they're not a, a talented group. And, um, like I said, they've put in the work, and I'm excited to see them prove everyone wrong. Driscoll will be more comfortable mentally and should have a talented offensive line in front of him, many of whom were banged up in the spring game but are poised to come together for a big fall. We're pretty much all back right now working out together. Um, we've been doing drills, and we've been going over film and over the playbook and everything together. So I feel like that first day at camp will really help us. In camp, camp everything will mesh together, especially when everybody comes back healthy. So Muschamp enters year three building a solid foundation, but of course he wants more. Following up an 11-win season, the head Gator knows what this program must do to reach the next level, meaning playing for and winning a championship. You got to continue to climb the mountain. It's, and the higher you get, the more treacherous the steps become. So uh, keep yourself grounded, number one. Keep your staff grounded and your team grounded and let them continue to understand, you know, why did those things happen? <laughs> it wasn't easy and it didn't happen overnight, and that's something you build over a period of time, but you've got to constantly guard yourself against complacency in what you're trying to do. The schedule is tough with trips to LSU and South Carolina. These Gators surprised many a season ago. Getting back to 11 wins may be more of a surprise this fall, though. Mike Neighbors for CST Tonight.